Hey guys, and welcome to a Ragman Task Guide Hot Delivery. For this task, you're going to need to stash two Comtat 2s, two 6B47 helmets, and two Gazelle K armors in the interchange. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So for this task, you are going to need two Pelter Comtat 2 headsets, two 6B47 Ratnik BSH helmets, as well as two Gazelle K armors. Now, when it comes to getting the helmets, all you need to do is head over to Prapper at Tier 1, and you can buy the helmets directly from him. It doesn't matter what durability it is when you ditch it, so you can always head over to the flea market and buy them directly from here. Next is you need to head over to Ragman and go to Tier 2. This right here is the contacts you're going to need to plant, and again, there is a butter trade right here, and you can buy them on the flea market normally cheaper than what Ragman actually offers you. Now, the big issue that you will be having is going to be the Gazelle's um, K armors. Now, they do actually spawn in scavs. Surprisingly, I've seen a decent amount through the um, through the time of playing this. And you cannot buy them from the flea market. So, you either have to find them on scams or do the barter trades with Ragman at tier 3 to actually get the Gazelle K armors. Now, the best place to kill scavs is actually on factory. Quick in and out, two minutes, you're sorted. There is a decent amount of scavs that spawn on interchange as well, so you can do this whilst you're doing it. You can go in wearing a armor like this one, and then the helmet, and then the contacts, and your player will actually remove that piece of clothing when he is dashing it. Also, you don't need to plant them all in one go. So you can plant them one at a time if you don't want to risk taking in two of the Gazelle K armors as well. Here on the map in front of you is showing the two spots where you're going to need to plant the Gazelle Ks as well as the contacts and the helmets. So we are going to show you the spot of the Gazelle Ks first. So we are out here next to the music area and right there is the main entrance. Just to the right of the stage is these pile of boxes and this is where you're going to be planting the item. Now, one of the most important things you've got to think about is actually that window right there. I have personally killed, I know it sounds scummy, I have killed people who have been doing this task just by looking out of this window and just having a bit of a, you know, it feels bad moment for these guys, but I killed them anyway. When you are planting them, what you're going to want to do is try and angle yourself just like so. So you get the place marker, but you can see just up there the actual line of PMCs. Because when you are up there down here, it is very open, so you do need to be careful. So it's the best thing to do is just angle yourself just like so. So you can see up the top right hand corner, basically the ridge of the windows. And now we are inside the store planting the contacts and the helmet. So we are here at the very center of the store right there is the good old kibber and here is brutal and over there is the mantis what we're going to do is head like we're heading towards goshen just like so and then once we get to this giant t section where the tents is what you're going to do is that you want to turn right so you would have actually had to have entered this store before for one of your very first tasks and this store is called avocado so yeah you would have known this store because you had to go here for ragman's one of ragman's first tasks and the spot where you're going to need to stash the items is just over here where these pile of rubbish is. Once again, just like the previous one, you're going to want to angle yourself. But if you crouch behind these boxes, you don't have to really watch so much on that side. You're going to have to watch more over here. But if you do have to sit here, you're going to want to angle yourself just like so. So you can see if there's any sort of movement whilst you're basically sitting here doing this task. One of the best things about this spot though is that it is a dark background so you do actually kind of blend in whilst you're here and one of the biggest tips I'm going to give you is literally do not wear any sort of glasses because they glow when there's some sort of fog and we are inside of interchange and there is always this weird kind of textured fog it is never always clear so you don't want to be wearing glasses whilst you are planting the items if you happen to have the green text on your screen you do need to come back and plant the item again. But obviously, if you're carrying two items on you and you happen to die, you do have to get those two items again. That's why I recommend doing them all in one at a go. Well, at least with the gazelle armors anyway, because they're a lot more harder to actually plant. When it comes to the contacts and the helmet, it's not really that hard to get them. 
but the gazelle case are definitely a bit more harder to obtain. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.